Hey tubers, so the K-Weld Spot Welder comes with a free SDL files to print the housing and Shannon has kindly released his version of the probe holders. Let's run through the basics on how I printed them and where to get the STLs from. I used the Ender 3D printer with a 220 by 220 bed so I'll be printing in two batches. Downloading the STLs from keenlabs.de or K-Weld North America Facebook page are both free but on the Keenlabs website you have to add to the cart and follow the prompts and you get the download link at the end of the checkout process. The probe holders are from K-Weld North America on Facebook and downloaded through the link below. I will ask both parties if I can add them to the Second Life Storage Community Forum and keep everything in one place. I printed the K-Weld Revision 3 housing and it fits perfectly using PLA but the ABS print was a little tight. I'm guessing it's just a calibration issue with my Ender 3. Printing took a few hours using Cura to slice. I'll include the settings in the description, but they aren't mine, just downloaded the profiles off the internet. One thing I have to do before every print is really clean the bed well. I'm talking hot soapy water, not getting oils from my hands on the bed after I've cleaned it and check for bed level again. I'm thinking the issue is with the stock Ender 3 bed leveling springs, so I've ordered up rated ones. After printing, the cleanup on the case is quite easy and took less than 10 minutes. I'm happy with the result and would like to try filling the logo with paint and see how it looks. Fitting the K-Weld into the bottom housing is a clip-in job, but you'll need to remove the risers if you fitted them first. Then pop on the top cover and install your four mounting screws to hold it all together. The probe holder was so simple off the bed. Grub screws out, slide the probes in, line and level up the probe points and then replace the grub screws. Both parts are not required in any way to make the K-Well usable but it does help its visual appeal and ease of use.